hey guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking to watch this video today i am going to be discussing all about cleansing double cleansing and everything under the category of cleansing actually i'm starting the first of a series called the basics of skincare and this is basically where i take you guys through all the steps that you normally would do in a nighttime routine all the fundamental steps as well as all the extra steps that you would have in a nighttime routine and i'm just restricting this to nighttime because i have a blog post where i talked about how to build a daytime skincare routine and i will link that in the description so that you can read that if you're interested but basically like i said i'm going to focus on nighttime so yeah if you would love to hear me discuss double cleansing and cleansing, please keep watching. We cleanse to get off impurities, whether water-based or oil-based of our skin. And cleansing is actually a fundamental part of having healthy skin. If you're serious about having healthy skin, you should be serious about um, cleansing um, your skin as much as, like cleansing your skin the proper way. You know as much as possible because cleansing itself actually gives you a smooth canvas and is kind of that platform where your other routine builds on okay so let's move into double cleansing so double cleansing is basically a two-step process where you use an oil-based cleanser first to take off oil-based impurities and then you use a water-based cleanser next to take off water-based impurities now all cleansing or oil-based cleansing like i mentioned is the process where you use an oil cleanser you use an oil cleanser to take off impurities such as oil pollution that you've been exposed to through the day sunscreen especially waterproof sunscreen and makeup um, people who like i mentioned are oily if you're acne prone if you're prone to congestion you want to take oil cleansing seriously um, this is basically because oil attracts oil to effectively remove oil that your 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 skin has produced through the day sebum that your skin has produced through the day you need a good oil based cleanser Oil is the most effective way. I mean, an oil cleanser that has been designed to function that way is like the most effective way of getting oil that your skin has produced, sebum that your skin has produced, and even oil that you've put on your skin, um, off your skin. You also want to double cleanse if you are prone to blackheads um, and you are prone to congestion because Cleansing oils can go deep into your pores and really break down um, the oil in your pores and make it easy for you to wash off your skin, right? So cleansing oils can go deep into your pores and really break down that waxy um, substance that has formed in your pores. If you know me, you know that I am an advocate of cleansing your skin gently and instead of using just a water-based cleanser you know and being aggressive about it an oil-based cleanser will do the trick and will leave your clean your skin cleaner and also without being stripped i also mentioned that if you live in a polluted area you want to double cleanse this is also because oil-based cleansers um, are very effective at getting off pollution off your skin you also want to double cleanse if you wear waterproof or mineral sunscreens because again they're the most effective way they they break down you know mineral sunscreens better than water-based cleanser and also makeup all based cleansers basically break down makeup better than water-based cleansers so this is basically the reason why you should use an oil based cleanser first okay so now let's talk about the different types of oil based cleansers so you could have cleansing oils they come in liquid form they're usually oils you know you have cleansing balms balms are like thick um, they're solid but they turn into oils when you massage them into your hands you also have cleansing gels cleansing gels are gel gel like you know but they turn into oils technically 
when you massage them again and you have um, micellar water now micellar water is both an oil based cleanser and a water based cleanser micellar water uses the technology where little oil droplets are encapsulated in tiny bubbles called micelles okay and they are now suspended in the water-based liquid so they have tiny micelles which are made up which are made up of oil particles you know and that is the reason why they are very effective at breaking down your makeup because they have oils in them so when you use if you notice when you use a micellar water it very well just takes off your makeup that is because it is both oil based and water based so let's discuss the properties of a good oil based cleanser the first one is that it must be oil based okay now the second um, characteristic is that it must emulsify with water um if you know basic chemistry you'll know that oil and water don't mix but how is it possible to get oil off your skin with water this is basically because the water binds to the oil and it's easier for you to get that oil off your skin because it has bound with water it basically turns milky that's what it means by it's emulsifying and then it's easier for you to get the oil off your skin the third point is it must come off your skin or you are able to rinse it off your skin without any residue and basically it rinses off clean okay so an oil cleanser that doesn't rinse off clean doesn't really do its complete job let me just put it that way it doesn't really do its complete job because if you have an oil based cleanser that doesn't completely rinse off your skin it can only create more problems for you in the long run number one and number two it only makes your cleanser work over time and we don't want that this is the point where i say that i do not recommend you using any plant-based oil to to double cleanse your skin to remove oil based impurities basically because number one they do not emulsify they are not formulated to emulsify and number two they don't rinse off clean they still leave residue on your skin and you really don't want that because eventually it creates problem for you like i mentioned let's talk about how to use an oil based cleanser the first thing is scooping the right amount onto your palms it's just take enough to cover your entire face and i recommend massaging it into your palms especially if you're sensitive before putting it on your face let's turn into an oil first you know that's if you're using a balm but if you're using an oil you can just put a bit on your palm and just just massage it into your face because it doesn't have to do you don't basically have to massage it for long because it's already an oil but if it's a balm you need it to turn to an oil consistency before you put it on your face and apply it to your face for a minute and get all the corners of your face until you feel like your makeup or your sunscreen has been entirely massaged and has broken down or you have massaged your skin for as much as you wanted this is the time when you can do facial massages as well after that um you want to take a bit of water in your palm massage it into your hands again and apply it to your face now don't immediately rinse off after you finish massaging with the oil let it emulsify properly let it turn milky well let all the areas of your face turn milky massage for 20 to 15 seconds 15 to 20 seconds and then rinse off your skin this is the process where you use your traditional cleanser. I'm sure everybody is aware, which are basically water-based to get off water-based impurities like your sweat and your dirt off your skin. Now let's talk about the um, different types of water-based cleansers we have. So we have foaming cleansers. You have gel cleansers, which I typically recommend for people who are oily and acne prone. You have milky cleansers, which can be used by people who uh have normal to combination skin and you have creamy cleansers which are typically for people who are um, of drier skin type because they moisturize the skin better than the other cleansers now what do i consider 
a good water-based cleanser. Now, this might vary from person to person, but for me, a water-based cleanser or a good water-based cleanser must be gentle, number one, must be low pH or at best pH balancing, that's number two. Uh, it must be barrier friendly and for me it must be sulfate free especially if you have a weakened skin barrier your skin is thin you're sensitive I would recommend going for a sulfate free cleanser this is basically because sulfate free cleansers do not strip or do not um, get rid of the essential lipids that your skin needs to be healthy and function properly. Let's talk about some frequently asked questions when it comes to double cleansing. Now, the first question is, do I need to double cleanse every day? And the answer is no. You do not need to double cleanse every day. And this is basically hinged on how your skin feels and how your skin looks. Okay, so if you wear makeup, you spend time outside and pollution you, you spend time in a polluted area the weather had been really really hot and you have your skin has produced excess sebum um, you wore a mineral sunscreen you definitely need to double cleanse so that leads me to the second question do you need to double cleanse twice a day and I would say no I say no because for me personally I would only double cleanse in the night time because right now my skin is prone to being really really dry and my lipid barrier is prone to being damaged that's basically saying my skin's barrier is prone to damage and in as much as double cleansing can be really helpful it can also be i mean too much of everything is bad it can also be detrimental to your skin you know when you begin to over cleanse i basically just want my skin's barrier um, to be as intact as possible i don't want to remove the essential lipids so i will not double cleanse in the morning my third question will be can your micellar water replace your oil based cleanser and i would say yes because from what i explained initially micellar water is both oil based and water based so you can use a micellar water as an oil based cleanser you will notice that it will get off your sunscreen it will also get off your makeup so yes it can replace your oil based cleanser now let's talk about how to um, use a water based cleanser now whether you're using a gel a cream a foam you know if you're sensitive again the first thing I'll say is put it in your hands massage it let it lather up properly before you put it on your face get all the corners of your face um, be gentle with your eyes as much as possible do that for about a minute massaging the cleanser into your skin and then rinse off with lukewarm water you want to rinse off with lukewarm water um, just because hot water can strip your skin and can remove all the essential lipids that form your healthy skin barrier you know so you want to use lukewarm fairly warm water to rinse off your water-based cleanser and afterwards pat dry it's really that simple all right guys so let's talk about my recommendations for oil-based cleansers um so far i have tried about five oil-based cleansers i've tried three cleansing balms one cleansing oil and one cleansing gel um but my recommendation basically i'll recommend this too so this is the all clean balm from hermish this is so good especially for oily and acne prone skin this emulsifies really well and what and rinses off clean it comes off your skin clean it leaves no residue when you massage it into your palm it turns to an oil then eventually it turns to a milk when you emulsify. So this I would highly, highly recommend for those that are oily and acne prone, but not sensitive. 
and if you're retinizing or you're using tretinoin i wouldn't recommend this because it has essential oils and it can irritate your skin this second one that i have tried and i kept the container that i finished is the uh, clinic take the day of cleansing balm now this is quite similar to the hemish one um but it has no fragrance so if you are it rinses off clean as well can leave a slight residue almost insignificant but i need to put it out there but like i mentioned if you're retinizing if you're using tretinoin you need a balm that has no fragrance no essential oils yeah this it's also adequate for all skin types so you can if you're dry you can use it if you're oily you can use it if you have acne prone skin you can use it if you're sensitive especially you can use it now i have also tried the vanilla cocaine zero this emulsifies as well and rinses off clean but it has an exfoliating element to, um, to it because i am prone to a damaged skin barrier i do not want to exfoliate my skin every time i put an oil-based cleanser on it this is the major reason why i do not like it Oh, and also it has fragrance. I do not like that. It has artificial fragrance, not essential oils. It has artificial fragrance, and I do not like that. I'm about to try the Pharmacy Green Clean Balm, and I will definitely keep you guys posted, and I will do a whole review on that balm. So stay tuned for that. So my recommendations for gentle, pH balancing, sulfur-free, water-based cleansers will be number one, the Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. If you follow my channel, you already know that I've talked about it a lot. Um, I also recommend the Sebamed Clear Face Cleansing by Sulfur Free, it's pH balancing is gentle. Um, yeah. I would also recommend the Inkily Salicylic Acid Cleanser if you're acne prone. And this is because it has salicylic acid in it, but it's also very gentle and it's sulfur free. And I believe it's pH balancing. Yes, I believe it's pH balancing. Um, I. I know that the CeraVe hydrating cleanser is also a very good cleanser. If you're not allergic to parabens, which I am, and that's the reason why I've never tried it, but I hear people say good things about it. You can also try that cleanser. It's pH, I think it's barrier friendly. I don't want to say it's pH balancing. I believe it's barrier friendly. It's gentle, it's um, sulfate free as well. So yes, that's a beautiful cleanser you can also try. Now my last recommendation is the Primera gel cleanser and this as well is gentle is barrier friendly yeah because i've tried it a couple of times but it never says anything it's soothing it's also um sulfur free as well so if you're looking for a gel cleanser for your you're looking for a regular cleanser for your um oily acne prone skin this is a good gentle cleanser as well there you have it guys that is all about cleansing and double cleansing if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you found this helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate that and it will really help my channel also please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video or if it helped you in your cleansing routine um, and also when you do please turn on the notifications so that you are notified every time I upload a new video thank you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye